Today we're going to start talking about odd time signatures and this lesson is specifically around 7-8. Now 7-8 is the first odd time signature that I got to play in and that's partially because of its relationship kind of at entry level to 4-4. You can interpret 7-8 in numerous different ways. You can interpret it like 6-8 with an extra note but how I initially got into 7-8 was via 4-4 four, four, and removing the final eighth note. There are numerous different ways that you can interpret it. You can, you can say it's a bar of four and then a bar of three. So you'd almost count that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Another way that you can interpret it is three and then four which you would count one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. But we'll start off first of all with the one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And essentially I'm gonna play a simple-ish pattern. I'll play it first of all in four, four, and then we'll play it in seven, eight by removing that final eighth note. So as you can hear, it's a pretty simple, kind of standard 4-4 four, four pattern. I'm going to chop off the last of those eighth notes, and that sounds like this. You can, when first kind of getting into this to ensure that you're counting on, on the one, you can accent it with a crash if you prefer at that particular point. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. The second way you can interpret seven, eight is by one, two, three, one, two, three, four, which may sound something like this. And now we'll play those patterns, but with ghost notes included. So essentially I'm playing. And we'll start off with pattern one. And now the one, two, three, one, two, three, four pattern. Now we'll play the patterns, but we're keeping the hi-hat hand on the hi-hat and missing some of those grace notes or those ghost notes with the left hand and just filling them in where it's not gonna create situations where you need doubles and triples with the left hand. So that sounds something like this.
Next up, we'll do something that Gavin Harrison refers to as overriding. And essentially what this means is that we'll be accenting every quarter note and that quarter note will change in the second bar to playing on the offbeat notes. Sounds something like this. You could use those overriding patterns on numerous surfaces. 